Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This time, however, I'm finally giving the people what they want. An entire FNAF news video dedicated specifically to Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. For some reason, we've just been getting a lot of news on FNAF security breach, most of it isn't even on the game itself. We got a few things from PlayStation, we got some brand new books coming out based on Security Breach, as well as some brand new merchandise, and of course the big thing at the end, the update that came on Friday to Security Breach TV. So we actually have quite a lot to talk about, and again, a lot of predicting to do at the end of the video. Tell me, what do you guys think is gonna happen in the next episode of Freddy and Friends on Tuesday? And also, please double check, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because when that episode comes out, I will be watching it and analyzing it. And also hit the like button. It really helps me out, and I would really love to get to 25K soon. So since we're already kind of talking about Freddy and Friends, I wanna quickly touch upon PlayStation's descriptions for for the three episodes. I might have talked about these previously in a separate video, but just in case you missed it, these are the descriptions for episode 1, 2, and 3 of Freddy and Friends by PlayStation. Episode 1, deep within the Mega Pizza Plex from the up and coming Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, you'll be able to watch episodes of Freddy and Friends on tour. This episode follows the gang on their adventures, but what was that? Did you see it too? Now based off of the line, you'll be able to watch episodes of Freddy and Friends on tour. People are thinking that means we can watch these episodes in the game itself, possibly in the cinema that we saw in that first ever teaser, if that's even still in the game. Which, that would be a really cool addition to the game, you know, being able to see these silly cartoons play on monitors throughout the Mega Pizzaplex. And of course, the what was that, did you see it too, obviously hinting towards the secret images that we see in the episodes. Episode 2 says, gear up, it's time for another episode of Freddy and Friends on tour. Like clockwork, no matter where Freddy and the gang end up, Foxy is right on their tails. Be sure to check out the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. You'll definitely be staying up all night. And then finally, the most recent episode so far, episode 3. Time to check in with Freddy and the gang this week. Foxy is still up to no good. Will Freddy and the gang make it out okay? These discoverable episodes from FNAF Security Breach will keep you rocking and rolling forever and ever. So again, the discoverable episodes. Does that mean we can discover them in-game, again, maybe in the cinema, or, you know, on various televisions? Not entirely sure, but definitely very interesting. Something else that's interesting is, um... How do I explain this? We got more FNAF slime. Now, I'm not really happy about it, but I do have all the FNAF slime. You may have seen these things in, like, GameStop whenever you go there, and it's just- it's just slime. But, you know, with FNAF characters. I don't really know why they decided this was <laughs> the direction they wanted to take with merchandise, but whatever. But something even crazier than FNAF slime is Security Breach slime. <laughs> why did they make this? Why, why did we get another wave of FNAF slime? As you can see, it comes with Vanny, Freddy, Chica, and Montgomery. Unfortunately, no Roxanne. Kinda sad. But yeah, these are out in stores right now. Um, if you want to go get them go ahead. I'm definitely gonna try and get my hands on them so I can, again, have the complete collection. And now let's definitely talk about Steel Wolves contest that they have going on right now. The other day, Steel Wolf tweeted out saying, get a pumpkin and enter our Security Breach Pumpkin Madness contest. Be sure to take a pic of your themed pumpkin with hashtag Security Breach Halloween and send it to community at steelwolfgames.com before October 31st to enter. If you want to participate, I'll leave the link down below. Be sure to go over the rules and also if you are kind of hesitant on joining, I'll quickly read over the prizes. First place gets a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Second place gets the two 12-inch Funko Security Breach statues. Third place only gets one of the statues, and then all the runner-ups get honorable mentions on the Steel Wool blog post. It's definitely a fun little challenge. I, I'm actually really happy that Steel Wool did this. You know, get the community together, doing a fun activity, while at the same time also getting hyped for the game. It's a good idea. And now let's talk about the Security Breach files, which appears to 
be the Friday Files, but specifically for the next game security breach. And while we are getting a third Freddy Files, the ultimate edition at some point, it seems that security breach isn't going to be featured in that because it's getting its own guidebook. Everything fans will want to know about the newest FNAF game security breach in a deluxe hardcover. A deep dive into the newest FNAF game is presented here in a giant hard cover that will make the perfect addition to any fan's library. From the newest animatronics to the deepest maps and easter eggs, everything is laid out in awesome detail that will deepen the knowledge of even the most enthusiastic players. A must-have for Freddy fans. So this was announced I think last month it has 80 pages which is still pretty beefy. And when we first found out about the book it had a release date of August 2nd, 2022. Recently however it just got delayed all the way to November 1st of 2022. So definitely a very interesting book, unfortunately, like a year away. However, I'm still kind of happy about that because if it released alongside the game, people probably wouldn't look into the game itself for secrets, instead just the book. So even though it is very far away, I'm still very interested about what it's gonna be about, what secrets is it gonna hold. And also, let's talk about Tales of the Pizzaplex. Because for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know how, Tales from the Pizzaplex number three, an AFK book, from the FNAF series has been discovered. The synopsis goes the second volume of an all new series of FNAF short story collections, a collection of new FNAF short stories set in the world of the newest games. Fans won't want to miss the pulse pounding collection of three novella length stories that will keep even the bravest player up at night. So it seems that we're getting Security Breach, and also probably like Help Wanted and FNAF AR2, since it says set in the world of the newest games, and we all know that Help Wanted, FNAF AR, and Security Breach are connected in some way. So we're getting a combination of those games, and also the Fazbear Frights books, where it was one book and a collection of books that had three stories in one book. Interestingly enough, however, this is titled Tales of the Pizza Plex number three, but in the synopsis it says the second volume. Also, it has a release date of August. August 30th, 2022. However, I would not be surprised if that gets changed at some point because as you can tell already, most of the information on here doesn't really line up, but it definitely is interesting that we're not only getting more books, they're also about Security Breach, and they're also in the format of Fazbear's Frights. This is going to be interesting because I think a big question people have is, are these stories connected to the games? Obviously, if it's said in Security Breach, you would expect that to be the case, so more backstory about the Pizzaplex? I don't know, we're just going to have to wait and see, but a very interesting discovery. And finally, let's go over what happened with Security Breach TV because as you can see something big happened and something big is coming. So first up as you can see all the monitors have been broken. As you can see this one's completely smashed. This one is cracking and also all the props have fallen over. As you can see the cupcake, even the hot dog, dude, the cup. Also, looks like we have a Foxy Pirate Plunder Bar and also the ice cream pop is melting once again. So obviously Something big has happened, and something massive is gonna happen in the next episode of Freddy and Friends coming out again in a few days on Tuesday. Now, I don't think that this was glitch trap, because as you can see, this was punched. Like, someone smashed the monitor, so I think something's in the office. And there's that sound again. They kept it in. Interesting. So I think something came into this office and basically destroyed the whole place. Kind of like what we saw in Monty's, um, green room. Do I think it was Monty? Not necessarily. I think it's going to be another, like, big bad villain of the game. Kind of like the animatronics we keep seeing at the end of the episodes, but usually we double click this and we get, you know, a character in the form of the logo. And that's how we determined, all right, that person or that character is going to be the secret image in the next episode. We predicted that with Monty, Chica, and Roxanne, but now we can't do that. We've also run out of characters to speak to Foxy. We had Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie, and now there's nobody else. So I really have no clue what could possibly happen in the next episode. But that's really gonna do it for all the security breach news today. Again, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button so you don't miss out on my reaction and analysis to the next episode. Tell me in the comments, what do you think is gonna happen in the next episode? Because I honestly can't even begin to imagine what could happen. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.
cream sundaes and blow ho ho with diamond